Hey guys! So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to apply rub-on powder and what it looks like on different colored bases. It's actually relatively easy to apply, but it is extremely messy. The one downside to this stuff is that you do have to use a non-wipe gel top coat, which means that you have to use a UV or LED lamp. I think you can use this stuff with nail polish, but I haven't tried it yet. With that being said, everything that I've used in this video and that you'll need will be listed on the screen here, and I will also list everything down in the description box below. So let's get started. So I'm going to show you guys what this will look like based on three different base colors. So one without a base color, it's just going to be the rub on top coat, one with a black base color, and then one with a white base color. Um, and I'm hoping that the camera will be able to pick up the difference in color depending on the base that you use. So I'm going to start off with the clear first, and the color I'm going to be using is this one. I don't really know if it's gold or just yellow. It's hard to, on the camera it looks like it's gold, but it definitely has a more yellowy undertone in person. Um, so we're both going to see today if this is yellow or gold. So this is the color that I'm going to use. And I'm going to take my rub on top coat, which is a non-wipe top coat. You can literally just use a non-wipe top coat as well, um, gel top coat. But I'm just going to apply a layer of this as if I was applying just regular top coat. And there's a dog here. <laughs> Anybody who has pets and who does their nails or does other people's nails knows the struggle of constant dog hair or cat hair or whatever that gets stuck on the nails. So now that that's applied, I'm going to go ahead and cure this for the designated time that it needs to be cured for. So now that this is cured, I'm going to go and take this little rubber tool that is meant for putting on rub-on powder. Um, I think you can also use eyeshadow applicators, um, but I believe these I think work the best. Um, then I'm going to take my color, I'm just going to put a little bit on here and then I'm gonna start working it into my top coat. And I don't know if you can tell, but this process is very messy. I opened it up and it just went all over my finger. So that's the only downside about the stuff that I don't really like is how messy it is. However, as you can see, it is very pretty and it's very easy to do. And it's just really fun to look at and whatnot. So you really want to make sure you work this stuff in. Oh, it's so pretty. Um, now you're going to need a little dust brush and you're just going to very lightly dust the excess powder off. And then you can go ahead and apply your rub on top coat to seal this in. If you don't apply your top coat after you've applied this, when you go to wash your hands or do something or whatever, this will come off. So you do have to make sure you top coat this before you go and start doing things. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply my top coat and I'm gonna make sure this is completely sealed in. You want to make sure you get every last spot on the nail because if you miss any spots then you will notice the rub-on powder starting to come off okay i'm now going to cure this and then i'm actually going to show you something that i did a couple of weeks back that kind of made this color a little more intense um without it having a base color underneath it. So now that this is cured, I'm actually going to put on more rub-on powder, and this will make this a little more intensified in color. It won't be a huge difference, but there will definitely be a difference between just one coat and two. And this is if you haven't applied a base color and you just applied your top coat. So 
so you can see that it's, um, I hope you can see anyway, that it's a little more intense in color with a second coat. So again, you wanna make sure that you apply your top coat because you don't want this to come off. And if you wanna do this second coat, you have to make sure that you're applying a non-wipe top coat because you don't want any sticky adhesive when it comes to this stuff. Okay, now I'm going to cure this and we're gonna go and move on to the black base. So now we are onto the black base. And so we're gonna basically just repeating this process of applying our non-wipe top coat. And something that I do recommend is after you have finished applying your rub-on powder, I don't know if you can see, but there are some specks of the rub-on powder in the top coat. So you wanna make sure that you clean your top coat brush. And I'm just gonna wipe this on this paper towel here. That way when you go to use it again, you don't get those rub-on powder flecks stuck onto your nail. So now that this is on, and I'm pretty sure this is on completely, I'm examining it to make sure that this nail is completely covered. It looks like it is. So now that this is completely covered in the top coat, I'm going to go ahead and cure this. So now that this is cured, we're gonna take our rub-on powder again, and we're just going to repeat this process of rubbing it in. And honestly, this never gets old. It's just so pretty. <laughs> Okay, now that this is thoroughly buffed in, I'm gonna go ahead and wipe off the excess. And you can already see the difference in color compared to one without a base color and one with a base color. So now I'm going to top coat this and we'll move on to the white. So here's what the nails look like done and all together. We have the one without a base coat, it's just the top coat, one with a black base coat, and then one with a white base coat. Personally, I really like the one with the black base coat just because I feel like it brings out more of the color. But honestly, it's just personal preference. Now, if you're wondering, can I use the base color that's the same as the rub on powder color? Absolutely because of the fact that like, so for instance, because of the fact that this is like a yellowish gold kind of color, um, you could do a base coat that's gold or yellow. But you know, it's, it's really all personal preference as to what you're looking for. The color may not be as intense with a base coat that's designated to its color, but again, all personal preference. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and show you guys my kind of cleaning process when it comes to my rub-on applicator and my top coat. So with the rub-on applicator, I use just 99% rubbing alcohol and I'm going to just spray this and then I just very gently clean this off. And 
And there you go. It's all brand new and ready for another set of rub-on nails. And then with the top coat, I kind of do the same thing, except I don't use the rubbing alcohol. I just take the brush out and I took some of the top coat off of it. And then I'm just going to wipe it like so. And make sure you get any stuff that's on your fingers off because you don't want gel on your skin. When you're doing this, you probably want to wear gloves. Um, but I'm just gonna take some rubbing alcohol and just clean my fingers off. And then when it comes to your hands, after you've applied your top coat, you can just go ahead and wash your hands and all of this excess powder will come off of your fingers. So that is how you apply rub-on powder and what it looks like based on the base coat that you use. If you guys like this video, consider hitting that subscribe button and click the notification bell so you guys get notified as new videos that I upload if it even works. And if it doesn't work, you can go ahead and follow me on Instagram where I only update you guys as to new videos that I upload, but that's also where I share my work that you guys normally wouldn't see here in these videos. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.